hello 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 my sassy soul sisters and friends welcome back sassy here and we have another unboxing it is like midnight and i can't sleep so i was like screw it i'm gonna do an unboxing since i didn't have time earlier today but we're gonna get right into it today we have inked goddess creations box and this is their february box um honestly i don't even remember the theme i'm so bad when it comes to that like i look at the theme when i purchase it and it was like a month ago so i forget by the time it gets here so it's a surprise all right let's see what they have in store for us so inked goddess on um, this right here is a 35 dollar box in case you're wondering and that's what i pay with shipping so it's probably more like a $25 box and if you think about it because it probably costs like $10 to ship to me so but it's $35 on their website and that's all you have to pay so that's pretty cool let's see what we have all right so it is witchy fandom 2 movies and television have produced some of the most iconic witches for decades now Many witches draw inspiration and enjoyment from fictional witches of the big and small screens. This month's box contains items inspired by some of my favorite pop culture witches. Oh, that's cool. Our shipping boxes and tissue paper are made of 100% recycled material. Our choice to use eco-friendly packaging is our way of helping beautiful Mother Earth. This month, a portion of our box profits was donated to the Trevor Project. You can read more about them all at trevorproject.org so that's cool i do like that she always donates to a um to a charity of her choice so i think that's wicked cool all right so let's see i'm just gonna kind of stick my hand in it because they kind of just plop every what is this <laughs> I'm laughing because I already know who this is going to. So we got a black cherry bath bomb. It's huge. It's like, it's huge. And it's like black and like this like fire orange reddish color. But that's cute. Black cherry bath bomb. Epsom salt, coconut oil. Free fragrance. Oh, it does smell like cherries. I'm not really a fan of cherries because I feel like it always that like medicine, but that actually smells pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. Are you gonna stay there? <laughs> I'm like, you gonna stay there? I'm gonna stick my hand in again. Oops. I'm trying to. Alright, whatever this small. Oh, I think it's a, yes, a votive. We got a black votive candle. <laughs> kind of smells like like woodsy it's very faint though it's got a very faint woodsy smell but we have that a black candle for protection all right i guess i'm grabbing this box we have this Cute little brown box. And then inside we have some fuzz. <laughs> and then underneath that we have, is this a pendulum? Oh, is mine broken? Hold on. It just came off here. It did. That kind of stinks. But I think I can fix it. Oh yeah, because that one just popped out. Hold on. My hands are freezing. I'm always fixing things. <laughs> it's like, come on. My fingers are not working. But I know... If I mess with it enough, maybe when my fingers are warmed up. Because I've been down in my basement like literally all night since after I cooked supper. And yeah, because every time... Oh, there we go. 
I did it. Now I gotta close it. There we go. There we go. Thanks for bearing with me there. So we have what I think is they have it as a necklace. Oh, it's cute little dangly stars and it's got the moons in between with little black balls and the pentagram and then a pendulum. Well, I would use this as a pendulum, I think. Oh, I just noticed. That's cute. But yeah, this doesn't feel, this feels like glassy to me. I don't know if it's what this is. Um, Nancy's Rosary Beads, inspired by The Crafts, Nancy. Oh yeah, I forgot about that show, The Craft. This is inspired by her Rosemary Beads. And it says... This obsidian gemstone necklace can be used as pagan prayer beads, a protection amulet for your car, and so much more. It's funny because I was thinking about dangling in my car. I actually got to give my car a good cleaning too. I've got to do so much cleaning. But yeah, that's cute. That is cute. I definitely wouldn't wear it, wear it, but I would put it in my car or use it as a pendulum. And then, let's see, I feel this little bag, it looks like. We have a little tote bag. Back. It says Supreme Vibes, and you can see it's kind of like very thin. Like you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see right through it. It's, I don't know. I mean, it, it is cute. I like the whole Supreme vibes, but I wish it was like maybe a little bit thicker material. It's like see-through. That's cute. All right, let me, I'm trying to put it so you guys can see it. <laughs> like, I'll just combobulate it. Let me see what it says about this. It says, do, do, do. A-H-S. Is that American Horror Story? Coven-inspired tote. You'll be emitted so some supreme vibes with this canvas tote inspired by, yes, the show American Horror Story. Coven. I love American Horror Story. Um, carry your books, your groceries, or your spell supplies wherever you go. I don't know what that was going to be. <laughs> I was going to say so, but I'll just keep it to myself. All right, so that was... Was that everything? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's six things. So there is something underneath here. Oh, there is. There is stuff underneath here. Cool. This is cute. Little lavender. Oh, this card is super cute. Damn, I wish I know where to get something like that. Always throw spilled salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Put lavender for luck and fall in love whenever you can. I do love that saying. I see that a lot. But this is super cute. These little cards. I would have loved something like that too. But yeah, I'll definitely plant those. I have a tree I have to plant too. I have so many things I have to plant. And then last but not least, actually, <laughs> this one, that's pretty good. And look at that. We even got a journal. And this, all right. Oh, let me read about this first before I even. So this says, practical magic inspired art card with lavender seeds DIY. This cute art card was designed with many witches' favorite quote from practical magic. We then took that quote and turned it into a DIY so you can plant lavender for luck. For seed directions, it's best to run online, search for the best tips for growing lavender from seeds in your region. General planting instructions are to cover seeds with small layer of soil no more than one eighth inch deep and keep the soil moist. Lavender seeds should begin sprouting in three to four weeks. I actually planted, did I plant lavender or lilac? Now I can't, no, I, plant, I planted lavender last year, but they were already like, maybe like that tall. And by the end of the summer, they were probably like that. I can't wait until I have like two big bushes of it, but I can plant this in the front of the house. So that would be nice. 
And then we have this beautiful journal. I don't have a green one, so I'm excited. I love this color green. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. And this is Charmed and Inspired Book of Shadows. This beautiful fox leather journal is inspired by the Witchy Sisters Grimoire. It contains blank pages for you to write or draw your spells. I really do like this. Who I belong to. Oh, I like how the pages are like that. Ooh, I just got an idea. Oh, and it has that thing. I like those to say I really I'm glad because I haven't gotten this box in a while like I just pick a theme here and there when I'm feeling like it um but I have to say I really did enjoy this box I think my favorite items <laughs> were I know I could get seeds anywhere but I just think this is super cute and for spring and I like the little quote I will definitely hang that up or put that in my BOS because that is just such actually I might even put it in this BOS because the um, colors complement this book very well. That might be my first little thing that I put in this BOS, actually. That's really cute. And then I can plant the seeds. This is definitely my favorite item out of the whole thing. I did like the tote. Like I said, I just wish it was a little thicker, but I get it. I mean, what you're paying for the box, so I shouldn't really be complaining. And this was cute, too. Like, I would definitely use it for decoration, like, I hate to say it, but I'm going to be honest, like, I don't feel like that's a real obsidian. That's just me. I, I mean, it, it could be, but my intuitions tell me no, that it's probably like fox, however you want to call it. But it's still cute, and I will definitely hang that, make use of it somewhere. But I thought this was a cute box. This smells really good. It really does. That's like one big ass bath bomb, I feel like. <laughs> it's gonna like blow up your tub. And then I love that they give the votives because I feel like they're like the only box that actually gives votives. I think I maybe another box. I can't think of it at the moment. Sometimes I forget what I get in boxes, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, overall I thought this was a pretty dope box. I actually really enjoyed this box. I liked the theme. I thought the theme was really cute. I never got their fandom because it says witchy fandom 2. So I'm guessing there was a witchy fandom 1 and I didn't get that one. So I, I wonder what that one was like. But I did enjoy this one and I thought so. At the bottom they give a sneak peek for next. I was going to say next week. Next month. Thank you for your Ink Goddess Creations box purchase this month. Here is your early access to next month's theme. So it's going to be spoilers. So if you don't want to know, go away now. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I didn't mean to say it like that, but you know what I mean. But next month from March, it's going to be spells and enchantments. So yeah, that'll be next month. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this box. Um... I know I put up a few videos the other day, but I honestly haven't been looking at the, my comments. I've been trying to catch up on all my sister's videos, but like in between doing things, it's just been hard. Um, but yeah, I will get back to the comments as soon as possible, but there's still, I got a lot of videos on my um, watch list or whatever you call it from my sisters that I need to watch, but there's some of them that I, I need um, to take notes, so I haven't been able to do that yet. But yeah, so just in case you're wondering, like, oh, she usually responds. I'm just, I'm just super busy. But you know, I always get back to you guys, and I will someday soon in the near future, I promise. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this box. I thought it was pretty cool. <sighs> I'm going to go do something because I still can't sleep. But until next time, peace. Love and stay sassy, my friends. Bye.